Hey everyone, Mr. Shell here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to burn .q files and .bin files, which are these two files right there. They are one of the same, and the .q file is uh, a key per se for the .bin file. A .bin file is typically, well, not typically, always larger than the .q file, and, I, and you can tell it by going to Properties, and it says there .bin file, the .bin file right there, and it's. Uh, 133 megabytes in this case and the Q file if you go to properties it will say it's a dot Q file right there it opens with Nero burning ROM and you can change that by going to here and changing it but you don't have to because it already opens with Nero burning ROM in my case anyway and the size is 74 bytes right there and you don't do anything just okay Right, to actually use these, you have to get the Q file. The Q file is the most important because this is what you use to activate the bin file. And we do this by going to Nero and then uh, burning. Uh, typically, a screen like this would come up. This is Nero burning ROM. A typically, a screen like this would come up. And you go to Nero and burn image. and here we have the Q file, it's already selected, and as you can see, image files that Nero supports .nrg, .iso, .q, .image, and this is a Q file, so it appears in it. And as you can see, the Q and the .image file are in this, the bin file, sorry, and the Q file are in the same folder, but only the Q file appears. So if we just open the Q file, it will only be the one that appears here, anyway. So, uh, this just happens to be a CD image. If you insert a DVD, it will uh, put place in and then it will change to DVD. You can burn a CD image onto a DVD and play it on the PlayStation 2. And of course, go to full speed uh, for your DVD. And full speed or 8 speed, uh, you can't go to 1 speed. And by the way, if you have any confusion about uh, the speeds or anything else in the video, there's a frequently asked questions video, it's in the video description and there's an annotation appearing right now as well. So this is basically how you burn a .q or .bin file and if you have any other questions go to the frequently asked questions video and if I don't answer it there just leave a comment and then I'll answer it from there. So thanks for watching, this has been Mr. Shell showing you how to burn .q slash bin files.